We're going to show you how to install an offline armory and how to use it to send and receive bitcoins. So the first thing you need is to download the armory client. You can just Google download armory, uh, bitcoinarmory.com, go to the download tab, and you want to scroll down until you find the Linux offline bundle for Ubuntu 10.04. This is going to be the easiest for you to install. Now you want to uh, download this uh, offline bundle for Ubuntu 10.04 64-bit. Always use 64-bit if you can. The second thing you need uh, after you have downloaded uh, the Armory offline bundle is to download Ubuntu, the Linux installation. So if you go to Ubuntu, uh, download the 10.04, you want the desktop version. Desktop means it's going to be the closest to uh, Windows. Windows interface. Uh, you want to find it here, Ubuntu 10.04 desktop. AMD 64 means it's also the 64-bit version to match your Armory version. And you want the ISO. Uh, I like to download the torrent because it's a lot uh, easier to download. If something gets messed up with your download, it'll nicely uh, restart it. So just download the torrent just like uh, you would anything else. Uh, it'll come up with MicroTorrent uh, and you can download it there. The next thing you need is to be able to install that torrent. So or install that ISO. So you can uh, burn that ISO to a CD, a blank CD, and use that to install Ubuntu on your computer. Or you can uh, take that ISO file and burn it to a flash drive using this program Yumi from pendrivelinux.com. If you follow the instructions and you have a blank flash drive, uh, you can put that ISO on that flash drive boot to that flash drive and use that to install Linux or you can just install it from a CD. Alright, so let's say that you have uh, downloaded Linux, downloaded Armory, and you've installed Linux onto uh, either the same computer. Uh, you can install it onto a separate flash drive. Uh, instead of installing it onto your hard drive, which can be attacked, you can install it onto a separate flash drive that you keep safe. Or you can install it on a separate computer, uh, one that uh, you're just going to use for Bitcoin, your offline computer. The first thing when you install it, you're going to log in, set a password, it'll come up with this screen. You want to make sure you're offline, so you can disable networking at the best to unplug the Ethernet cable from the back of the computer if it's a wired computer. Uh, and this way no one can attack your computer because it's not, attacked, not connected to the internet. Now we have that Armory offline bundle that we downloaded. I put that on a flash drive, and so I'll insert the flash drive into my computer. It's going to pop up just like in Windows, and we can install it from there. So I've got uh, this flash drive called Bitcoins. Uh, this is the Armory uh, offline bundle uh, that we downloaded. If you right-click that, you can extract here, and it will extract it just like a zip file. It will extract it into a folder, and I've already done that, so it's going to give us a separate copy of it. But either way, it will extract it into a folder. Just double-click that folder. And then to install Armory, everything you need to install Armory is in this folder. Just double click on this install, double click run, run in terminal. Click run in terminal, uh, type in your password, and it will install all of these packages, all these programs that you need uh, to use Armory. All of these packages uh, this in this bundle are geared towards Ubuntu 10.04, and so that's why we got this. This is going to be the easiest to install. Once it's done, uh, it'll just close itself. If you go in the top left corner, go to Applications, Internet, Armory Offline, uh, you can open up Armory, and if it's your first time opening it up, it'll ask you to create a wallet. But if uh, for me, it's I've already done this before, so I'm going to create a new wallet. Just click on that. This is the same thing uh, you would do. Uh, new wallet, just give it a name give it encryption, you want to print a paper backup, click accept, give it a password, and it's going to ask you to type in your password again, just make sure you didn't forget it, and then it's going to ask you to type it in again, I think, to really make sure you didn't forget it. And here's your new wallet. Now, you want to make a paper backup. Uh, that's in case your computer crashes and you lose your wallet file, you lose your CD key, you want to be still have access to your bitcoins from this backup. So this root key and this chain code, you want to write down all of those uh, letters, all of those little words, uh, or you can print it. Uh, you can insert, uh, if you have a USB printer, just connect it to your computer and Linux will probably be able to use it to print, but write this stuff down and keep it in a safe place to restore from backup. 
So now we've created a new wallet. Uh, I've created a bunch of new wallets uh, for for this computer. Uh, it doesn't have any bitcoins in it or anything, so it's just a blank wallet. But what we want to do um, is to take all of these addresses that we have here uh, in our wallet so that we can receive bitcoins, and we're going to transfer that to Windows. So that's called a watching only copy. And so just take a wallet, double click it, the one you want to uh, copy to Windows, and you want to create a watching only copy. You want to save that in your flash drive, uh, something you can use to go between computers. That's going to save it as a watching only wallet. And just click on save. So now that we've done that, uh, we're going to go back to Windows. So Linux is secure. Linux has our private keys. Uh, we're going to use Windows to view our balances and uh, create transactions. And so that's why we had to create a watching only wallet. So we're going to reboot to Windows, right? So you've rebooted to Windows. You open up Armory. It's going to take a while to scan. While it's scanning, though, you can import that watching only wallet. So just click on Import Wallet, Import Wallet from File, uh, navigate to the flash drive that you saved that wallet on, click on the Watching Only Wallet, click Open. It'll ask you if you want to rescan. You need to say yes, otherwise it won't be able to tell you what your balance is. And then once the scanning is done, uh, your wallet will show up and it'll have your balance and it should say zero if you haven't ever used it before. All right, so now we're done scanning the blockchain. Uh, our wallet is here, our offline wallet. I sent some Bitcoins to it. 0.008 bitcoins, and now we're going to uh, show you how to use the Armory features. So there's three parts to every transaction. Uh, on your Windows computer, you're going to create the transaction. On your Linux computer, you're going to sign the transaction. And then on your Windows computer, again, you're going to broadcast it to the internet. So let's do the first part, to creating a transaction. So open up your wallet, and we're going to send bitcoins. So you're going to set your fee. Uh, we're going to send the max that we can, and we're going to send them to here. So you're going to create an unsigned transaction. Now this uh, is not enough to send them, but this is just the first part. Uh, you want to save it as a file. To the, your flash drive that you can use to go between your two different computers. We're going to save it uh, as an unsigned transaction. And now what we need to do is reboot to Linux. So I've rebooted to Linux. I've got my flash drive that I saved the unsigned transaction on. Uh, we can open up Armory Offline. Go to Offline Transactions, and we're going to sign that offline transaction. So just load it. Uh, click on the unsigned transaction from your flash drive open, uh, make sure everything's correct, and you can sign it. And it tells you where it's going to go, what fee you're going to send. Insert your password to unlock the wallet. And it's been signed. And now it's going to sign it and it's going to save it back to that flash drive. So now we need to broadcast it to the internet. So we're just going to go back to our Windows computer. So when you go back to your Windows computer, you're going to need to open up Armory again, and it's going to go through all the scanning nonsense that takes 10-15 minutes. But if you are in Expert Mode, go to User Expert Mode, uh, open up Armory in Expert Mode. If you go to Offline Transactions, it will let you broadcast the transaction without the blockchain uh, being totally scanned. So it'll save you a few minutes. Uh, you want to go to Sign uh, Transaction. You're going to load it. Click on that sign transaction, open, and then broadcast. And just like that, it's gone into the internet. Uh, it's been broadcast. It's going to be picked up by a miner, uh, and then it's going to be included in a block. So now that everything's installed, uh, you're just going to do those last three options.